Bang? Yeah, gotta wait a second. Bang! <gasps> Neve knives! You said that so you could steal it! Oh no, you have to wait a second. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think yeah, it is. It's live. Bang! Neve's knives! My name is Kara and my lovely wife, Jarrett. I... She did that on purpose. No, I didn't. Don't let her fool you. No, I didn't. I did not. How's everybody doing it's tonight? It's such like a mantra. What's up, Ace? No, Danny, you are not late tonight. First comment. What's up, Talica? Jesse? Oh, look who's Seems back. Seems logical. Brandon? What do you mean, look who's back? Me. Oh. Seems logical. Always live when I get home from work. It's the best. That's awesome. Perfect timing, then. Perfect timing. Jared is a wife. Congrats. Huh? <laughs> it's just like such a saying. Bang, Neve's Knives. My name is Jared, and this is my lovely wife, Kara. And like, it's just like a thing. Oh, snap. I got here after <laughs> Danny G. Guess that makes me late. Yeah. 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 You, you, by the way, are late. Danny was not. I, uh,. I haven't been to some of the lives recently because right now I'm in Q4 at work, which is in retail, it's the absolute busiest time of my year. I was there at 4 in the morning. I'm going to be, today I'm going to be there till 10.30, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. There's just a lot to do, so I'm tired all the time. Where are you going? I'm going to join them because, uh... Wow. You are you I'm gonna no join resistance to peer pressure no whatsoever. No resistance. <laughs> one person says they're having a beer. He's like, these things have been sitting have in our one. fridge for months. <laughs> for months. I think there's only three of them in there, and it's been in there. How long have these been in there? Since summertime, because they're my brothers. <laughs> Cheers. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mom. Um, sounds like you will need a coffee care. She's already got one. She I'm blocking makes Douglas. Before. I think Douglas has to go back to this cube. Manny Z. Yeah, we do need to drop a like, don't we? This is in the camera view. Let me back it up just a little bit. Yeah, leave that up there. Why? Douglas has to go here. Why? Because he, I'm blocking him. Alright. Um, so... How's everybody doing tonight? It's been a crazy 2020 year. And I'm really nuts. Hey, oh, Don. Oh, God. Um, hopefully, we're not buffering on your guys' <laughs> end because it looked like we were buffering on our end. I'm not blocking Douglas anymore. Oh, man. This thing better not start this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we're not buffering on you guys. Is it buffering? It is. Okay, well, hopefully it stops. Sometimes it does it a little bit in the beginning, and then it stops. So, hopefully it, it stops. We did uh, restart the thing, so... What is the thing called? You have to stop calling it the, the thing. What's it called? I'm asking. I don't know what's it called. The you know, router. The router. And the modem. Okay. Today is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday to him. It's actually my... Uh, Oh, no, that was yesterday. My cousin Jake's birthday was yesterday. Router. Um, uh, oh, that was it. But happy birthday to your dad. I had a bunch of people's birthdays in October. I had my mom's, at Andrew's. Topological. Uh, Breeze. Uh, seems like everybody's birthdays. When you know a lot of people and got a big family, it's every month somebody's birthday. Mine and Jared's birthday are only like a week apart. Today's Free America Day, but a certain party is fighting back. Kira! Yeah, um... <laughs> yes, yes it is. that's for sure. This is how you say my name in a, in a whiny fashion. Kira! Kira! Yeah, and that's my, Jessica! My Aunt Dawn always says, Jared Ray! She always puts the Ray in there, especially when it's like she's yelling for me. I, I'm trying to think. I don't have a whiny way to say your name. Well, I'm not saying it's whiny. I'm saying she always adds the middle name. I know, name. but I'm trying to think when I'm saying your name whiny. I think I just go, Vivi. <sighs> like that. Valentine's Day plus nine months equals birthdays. <laughs> okay? Wait, Valentine's Day. It's a co-worker party. Yeah, nice. All, all my peeps is here. Except for I'm not your co-worker. I'm your motherfucking boss. Don't forget it. Bitch! Um, so I can't be late. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 
la 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 la. You know you're in trouble when they use your middle name. Yeah, definitely. What's your middle uh, name? Tell Ray, the people. Ray. Mine is Alexandra. Mine's Ray for Raymond because my dad's name was Raymond. Jared, that day in the life of a oh my knife gosh, has anyone Did you guys ever, like that? Has anyone ever called you J Ray? Yes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that. J Ray. Uh, Ray. Um, yeah, that day in the life of the knife video, that took me a long Jay -Z. time to edit. I'm getting better at editing. What's up, Lindy Lou? <clears throat> but yeah, I, uh, I'm getting better at editing, so, but it's just, it still takes me a lot of time. Even with the regular videos I do now, I have to do a lot of editing. So, Hell yeah, I that am. type of video, I had to, um, not only make lots of different parts and move the camera several different ways and have people help me, but then I also had to spend... It took me a couple days to edit it. What software do you use to edit? Um, Kindmaster. And I do everything off my phone, which makes it a little bit more difficult, so... Everything. Hopefully soon, though, I am... Um, I'm up for a new phone now, so I'm probably going to get a, a little bit better phone. And, uh, hopefully, so hopefully it's a little bit better quality. You get a new phone? Um, soon. Because I'm, it's just gonna, uh, because I'm up for it, so the, it'll just, you know, switch. Switch. Yeah. Well. And then, hopefully, because my, my screen's cracked and everything on this thing, so, it'll, one, be better just to have, um, uh, a better phone, but... Hopefully the camera quality is better because every time I pick out a phone, I always make sure, at least the last couple phones, that it has a good camera. Because that makes all the difference in yeah. the world on your phone with when you're recording and videoing um, and stuff is that damn These days, camera. pretty much every phone has a really good camera. But the difference, though, in my last phone to this one was night and day. Like, even the difference between yours and this one. Yours yeah. is better than this one. I know, but I'm saying now they're all good. Yeah, I know. Uh, Danny says, anyone got tips on how to make si 60 mosquito bites stop itching? I mean, calamine lotion is going to be the first thing. But the th thing with calamine lotion is that when you first put it on, it almost makes it worse for a second just because you have, like, cold lotion on it. And then when you put it on, you just have to give it, like, five minutes and not touch them. But Smack them. That usually helps. I always do the thing where I take my finger and I, like, make an, make X. an X in it. I don't think that works. I think it's just, like, a way to... No, I think all it is is a way to itch it without scratching it. That's what it yeah. does. So, I mean... Are you sure it's mosquito sucks. bites and not chiggers? Because right. chiggers... Or fleas. <laughs> yeah, chiggers are, holy shit, itchy. And for those, you put clear nail polish on them to suffocate them. And then they stop. My uh, my niece, she's allergic to them. So when she gets a mosquito bite, it looks like a bee sting. It's bad. That would that, suck. Yeah, that would suck because I always get ate up by some mosquitoes. When mosquitoes are out, they're coming after me. Oh, he me. has an allergy to them? That sucks. That sucks big time. Um, yeah, if, if I was allergic, I would definitely wear mosquito spray pretty often. But... Uh, I, mean, I don't know. That shit sucks to wear, though, and the stench from it. And then every time, like, you lick your lips or drink something, then you're, like, drinking it and you taste it, you know? There is, um... Or if you eat something, then you get it on you it. You can do, like, natural repellents now. I had to make some for work for, like, other bugs. But you can use all these essential oils to make, uh... Yes, we have bad mosquitoes in Illinois, but you yes. can use essential oils to make bug spray. Yeah, Illinois definitely is really bad. Bad. With We're actually people don't people that have never lived in Illinois think it's like cold here, which it does get cold here. But you have to understand no, our not. summers are uh, actually hot. extremely hot and humid. Yes. We're not a dry humid. state. We're very humid, like tropical ass humidity. Yes. Like it's. But Gross. then in the no, winter, no, we don't have chiggers in Illinois. The, no. But they're as close as Kentucky, though. I mean, they're close to here, but not where we maybe, are. Maybe Missouri. You maybe know. even Southern Illinois. I bet there is. Possibly. Yeah. Obviously, the more north. Everyone you get, stares you know. at Danny in Columbia. He has blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they do. He's like he's a native. When I went to Mexico, everyone Child kept speaking Mexico. Spanish to me when I was younger, and it was really confusing. When me and my mom were there, everyone kept speaking Spanish to us. Yeah. And finally, like, my mom kept having to say, like, you know, that she doesn't speak Spanish. But apparently, all of them said that she looks like she's from a town called Guadalajara. I don't know where the people are a little bit lighter. Apparently, mm -hmm. she looks like that. Because they all kept coming up to us speaking Spanish. 
Yeah. Well, that's that, that's what they do, though. So. No, I'm saying where they did speak English as well, like tourist oh, type people right, right, and stuff right. like that. Like in Walmart, there was a lady handing out flyers, and she came up. Rat rattling off some Spanish, and my mom said, "Like, no, I'm sorry." But you I'm guys sorry, look blah, blah, kind blah. of Spanish, though, so I would do maybe the same more thing. when I was younger. I don't think I do now. But I, I think both you and your mom do. Actually, but it's I, very... occasionally I still do get even customers at work that ask I me if I speak it. Spanish. Um, occasionally, but yeah, here the the winters are very cold. Like, and some winters are obviously worse than others, but sometimes we get some like snow the whole entire winter and then other times it's like we get it like where it's a light winter i guess you could say where there's not a lot of snow it's very cold still but there are some years man it's like a, a blizzard always and it's always deep snows always on the ground the entire winter but then like the last couple winters it wasn't like that like um the, it seemed like the majority of the winter you there was no snow on the ground yeah uh, my wife is Hispanic and I am white. Her whole family tries talking to me in Spanish. My wife barely speaks it. Uh, my buddy at work, his first, uh, he's Puerto Rican. His first language was uh, Spanish. Now he's forgotten it. Even though he spoke Spanish till he was six, he didn't learn English until he was six. Yeah. So when he was six, he started speaking English and then, um, you know, moved here or whatever and never really spoke it again, you know, because he was learning English. Now he can, you know, speak it a little bit, but he's lost 90% of it because of he like doesn't that. have, because he doesn't have people to speak it with. I mean, besides probably his mom. Or I whatever. know a lot of people that are like that. Um, even Jessica that was just in here, she, Spanish was her first language and now she, she says that when she speaks Spanish to other Hispanic people that they say she has like a really strong American accent. Like it's like, almost like it's not her First language anymore in a way. Yeah. What's up, EDC Journey? Guys, I do have some questions tonight. Yes, the yes. Okay, so can I ask you my question that I said I was going to say for the live? I don't care. Okay, it's just a hypothetical. And before I ask this, it has absolutely no insinuations on the, the current election that's happening in the United States at all. It just made me think of a good hypothetical question. Absolutely no relation whatsoever okay. to ours, Okay. Would you cheat if you were running for like any election for anything? Would you cheat in an election if it meant stopping an opponent that truly did not have good intentions? Uh, see, if man. you knew that they were gonna do some evil ass shit if they won, and you knew it, and it I was feel like hurt the, people, I feel like would the, you be okay with it? I feel like by doing that, you're just stooping down to their level. Then how much better are you than them? Right? So, in um, a way, I want to, right? Like, deep down, like, I want to. Because it's kind of like um, stopping somebody that's going to inevitably be horrible for the country or people. But then again, it's like, if you get exposed, right? If you get exposed, then what good was it? Because then it just comes out, and then everybody looks at you as corrupt. So, let's, let's you don't throw stop in corrupt. some... Let me throw in some specifics, though. Because some people are asking some good qualifiers saying like how is how are you cheating do the ends justify the means blah 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 blah. so let's put it like this before you continue answering uh -huh. if the person running against you you knew was going to run like a fascist regime okay like, a dictatorship. You knew, like north korea or something and you knew that they absolutely were going to do that they had plans to put in all their own people um, you know, they themselves are rigging elections and doing things basically to get all their people in position and destroy the country. Right. And then your way of cheating would be, um, let's say, buying votes and making fake votes. Let's say that's your means. Do you think those means justify stopping that? Basically, what's happening right now? Um, no! Oh my god! Um, Not so at that all. would be my way of cheating, like yeah. that. Um, no, I feel like the best way to be would be to to get the people to because okay, because check this out. Put this. Way. No, I swear it has not ever. Like, yeah, it sounds familiar. But okay, so put it this way: if you do that, right? Those people really don't stand on your team. They're not your team member members. They're not your backers. They're nothing for you. They just they just got you in, I guess, right? So I feel like it'd be better to convince people to convince people to convince people so that you have an army, so well, that you have people backing anyway. you. They're, they're already going to cheat. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, like 
you can't beat corruption with corruption, and usually that's what happens, right? But then what's what's kind of the difference, right? So yeah. if you're corrupt too, then how good can you be for your people? Like the point of getting rid of corruption, you know, for the the better candidate or whatever is, you know, to, to get rid of the corruption from the politicians, not be or create, make yourself a corrupt politician as well, yeah. right? Because then you're no better than them. You're really not. And then if it does come out, then it shows, and then you're really not going to look good. I, I like this. The world ain't fair. If you need to cheat to make it fair, then so be it. <laughs> I, I That's the way I feel deep down. I feel like that's the way you'd want to do it, right? Especially if you knew, like, what was best, and if you knew, like, that this will ultimately be better for society. I feel like you want to, but then I feel like, like, you're, you're not much better, and then I feel like that's just the beginning of corruption for you. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it, it starts somewhere. I think there's a difference in cheating and something that really matters versus, like, cheating on other things. So, like, to me, I would never, like, freak out, like, if I found out, like, that my kid cheated on a test or something. Like, obviously, there's a moral lesson to be learned in a situation like that, but the fact of the matter is they're just trying to get by, and they don't care about the circumference of a circle 20 years down the road, you know? So, in those instances... You need to teach the moral morality behind it, but at the same time, there's no consequence really to cheating like that, except for you don't learn. I like Talica's answer, trust in God. If you are <laughs> um, cheating in things that really, really matter, you know, the fact of the matter is, is maybe your country doesn't, maybe your country wants that evil person. I mean, I guess you have to let them decide. Oh, for sure. Like, if, if that's what just winds up happening, then that's what winds up happening. And then you wind up getting, you know, closer to your country being that. And yeah. then either you, you vote it out the next year, right or the next you know election but it does suck though when you have people so many people and i've known lots of these people my whole life that don't know anything about politics don't follow politics and can be bought like for their their vote like easily for ten dollars i mean for nothing you buy them a pack of cigarettes and they'll, they'll fucking vote whatever you want and I know a lot of that, you know, can happen very easily. There's yeah. so many things. There's a lot of times in my life if somebody w would have been like, hey, can I buy your vote or something? Right. I'd be like, how much? Right, yeah. <laughs> well, what are we talking here? Yeah. So, I mean, and that sucks, though, because then ultimately they're hurt. They don't even realize what they're doing or how they're hurting themselves in the long run. Or how they could, I should say. I see that coffee cup getting knocked over. We've already talked all about that, Mark. <clears throat> This is where it shall go. I'm trying to, <laughs> Look uh... At it. I know, it looks very dangerous. <laughs> I guess it goes on the carpet, not on the knives. I have another question. Keem, that would favor the Democrat states. Not going to be popular. Um, go ahead. They're, they're talking about the Electoral College because it's flawed. Like, if you have the popular... Because we're not truly a democracy, we're a republic. So democracy is when it's the popular vote and that's who wins. Literally number of votes. This is popular vote determines where the electoral college votes and then the electoral college votes you have to get at least 270 to become president. So, for instance, California has 55 electoral votes but then a place like Montana might only have two. I did not... So sorry. there could be more yeah. Republican... Like right now, if you look at it, there is more states red. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it doesn't matter about how many states. And back in the day, the Electoral College used to really appropriately represent population. But now I don't really know that that's so much the case. Yeah. Um, um, I did not see his uh, live today on Instagram, but I'm definitely going to go watch it after this. I love uh, Steve's videos. Is I think, it more people blue? I, I haven't looked hilarious. in a while. Um, well, I think it depends on where you look. More people wait, wait blue, but... More, I thought more physical states were red, was yeah, what I was yeah. saying. Um, I think that that's a hundred percent true. Uh, like it depends on where you look, too. Like, there are certain things you look like they'll they'll even have they show. I was watching this one where they were showing that they had overwhelming um red votes, but yet they didn't change it to red yet, they still had it blue. So, like, it depends on when you look and stuff like that. And you have a lot of people that have came out that have never voted 
Republican, voting Republican this year. A lot, like even the black community. Uh, like I think it was 4% normally and it's up to 8%, if not more. Like there's people saying it's way higher than that. Yeah, they're just like so just these um, The Hispanic culture, like they all, exactly, yeah, they always see it. You can go on two different channels and they'll have two different things. Okay, I'm about to take this way left. Wait one second. But even our state is 90% red, except for here. It's 99% red. Right. Literally, the county we're sitting in, in Chicago, Lake and Cook County, are the only two counties that were blue, and, and then, then there's one, one other. little one down, down, yeah. uh... But it is kind of sad, Southern because Illinois. if you, you think doing? about it, I, dro I dropped something. If you think about it, get it? So uh, you, you know, 90% of our state wants to be represented one way, and because of one or two counties, that's that why sucks. the Electoral College is flawed. And what the heck... It's over there. The Lord Almighty came down and took it. Is that a trick question? I don't know what the question was. A lot of shady things going on. Yeah. Uh, just Google election results and it is just numbers. Okay. Yeah, numbers are... Uh, they're, what's wrong? Nothing. I have oh. a question. All right, go ahead. Just go ahead. Okay. It's your damn question. All right. What was your favorite toy growing up? My favorite toy. Favorite toy. Probably like guns. One. No, that's not a toy. My like toy guns. Oh, a toy. I think I'm in a real gun. <laughs> no, a toy gun. Uh, BB guns, too. No, a but I gun. want like a specific toy, I, okay. not like a generalized okay, I, thing, I, I like had a, a particular. I had a G.I. Joe that I really liked, and also I <laughs> had a, a Tonka said. truck. I had like a Tonka truck, but yeah. uh, GI Joes were really awesome. But back in the day, we had the metal Tonka trucks, not that plastic shit like we got now. And uh, my family had lots of machines, like five uh, eighties and stuff. And um, so we actually had the replicas of like the five eighties and stuff like that, all real metal heavy as shit, and we could play with those. And, like, the big Tonka trucks, they were big trucks, and they were all metal, really heavy. I mean, you cut yourself on them. They were kind of dangerous, but they were awesome. But then I had this little G.I. Joe that crawled on the ground. I thought that guy was awesome. You know what my favorite toy was? What? Mine was this thing I had, and you could build it together. Look at me, sir. It was a thing you could build together like this, and it had, like, all these little roadways and, like, things and, like, tracks. And you could build, like, this whole thing, and then you could put marbles down it. Oh, okay. I still, I have, I I still have about. it, actually. Slice dice is in the house. If you got rid of the Electoral College, Biden would be winning by about 4 million votes right now. If you're a Republican, you should be loving the Electoral College. Um... Uh, yeah, that, that still might be the case, but I still think that it's a, a flawed system. I don't care about it being about what I want or what I not, like don't want for like personal reasons. Like I just think that there is, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there could be something I have no better. idea about that. I just know fucking... That's like I, California. Everyone wants California because it's 55. It's the biggest state. It has the most electoral votes. Uh, I think Texas is like 40... Texas I don't like the, the way the, the mail and shit is going this year. I think like there are so there's so much corruption with the voting this year. It's insanity. And then like I heard uh like you heard like news stations making it seem like we've always done it like this and how um like the other side We've is, always done it like this, but just not at this no. quantity. No, no, no. You can always mail in vote, but you have to mail in and get it. Like, you have to, they have to know who's d doing the mail in voting. So, like, say if you are out of state or out of country or something like that, those are, or military, those are reasons to do mail in voting. But you mail in, you know, you sign, like, basically sign up for it so that they know. That, that you're doing it and stuff, who it's coming from, where you live, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Not just passing out paper and you just signing it and, you know, handing it in or whatever. Yeah. And they're trying to do it where it doesn't have, like, no postal code or whatever that postal thing is. And, um, and then letting them come in late, which we've never done that. It's always been the same day. 
Stuff like that. That's why, I mean, right now, I think Trump is, or I know he is, he's uh, going to bring the stuff to the Supreme Court because be of like all the fuckery. 2000. Everyone, everyone remember 2000 with Bush and Florida? A lot of Florida? people probably don't, but... Yes, they do. That was a huge thing. I'm not saying um, people do. I said a lot of people probably don't. And then the next year with Ohio. Okay, I want to go back and read some of these. Those seems okay, logical. Said Legos are my N64. I, yeah, I used to love Legos. Loved too. Legos. Also, I, like I still Legos have too. my Nintendo 64 totally working. I like the little Legos. Legos, though. You know how they have the yeah, big ones and no, the little Yeah, no, the big ones, ones are for, ones. like, little, little kids. A metal dump truck, Talica still oh, has no, one. Have... Probably a yo-yo. There was a couple times where I tried to get good at yo-yoing. I agree. The EC is dumb. It was made because they couldn't count boats back Yeah, it was, then. A, it was a way to extrapolate numbers yeah. that they couldn't to count. To request it now, they sent it to everyone in some states. Right. Um, but, you know... With that stuff, it's always led to fraud. Like, it always. Like, so many times on a small, tiny scale. So when you do it on a giant scale, what do you think is going to happen? Like, and that's what's happening. Like, um, it's happening like crazy. Like, that, they're suing, they're, they're bringing it to the Supreme Court right now because, uh, like, so many, like, I think 20 hours of voting or whatever wasn't even looked at. Like, they didn't allow, even though they agreed for it to be watched. And they didn't. And so, like, 100,000 votes were turned in and were never even checked. And then, like, in Wisconsin, they Hanging came in chads. at, like, 3 in the morning with, like, 120,000 uh, things. So, hanging we'll see how it goes. Hanging chads is literally the inside what joke. What is hanging chads? It is literally the inside joke of the election of 2000. Oh, mm -hmm. when So, when but it all came down to Florida and recounting ballots in Florida, and they had paper ballots, the punch hole ones. And the... The piece of punch is called a chad, the piece of paper left okay. over from the punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so when they were recounting the votes, they would look and it would just be like hanging through. So there was hanging chads, dimpled chads, and they yeah. basically were having to determine the intent of the voter. That's crazy. Yeah, so. That's crazy. Yeah. I heard now, like, and I don't think this is true because I did hear, like, a counter argument to this, but about, like, something about the pen, like, that they were filling the thing out with, that if it was a certain kind of pen, the, the machine <laughs> wouldn't read it, and that people were passing out the pens to make it where the machine didn't read it. And I don't know how true that is because then I also heard that that wasn't true. So who knows? Like I said, I think after hopefully the Supreme Court rules it that it gets checked and everything gets double checked. And well, let's I mean, it should it just be nice to have an honest vote and actually know that it was I don't care if he does. I mean, I do care. But like, um, say if Biden won. Right. Which I do care. But like, say if Biden won. As long as it's an honest thing, sure. then I then whatever. But I'd hate to know that everybody that uh, did vote legitly. What? I need to feel you. Listen, because it's going to get weird for me to say it if I keep waiting. EDC Journeys, I just wanted to say that I still have 007 on the Nintendo 64, and that's one of the greatest games of all time. Uh, we used to love playing four players. Yes. Just, oh, man. Remember, like, a year ago, I pulled that Nintendo 64 out and beat Mario 64 again? Yeah. Remember when I was doing that <laughs> yeah. for a while there? No, that was a badass game. When it first came out, it was, like, the first time, like, we're a real first-person game was legit. Like, yeah. I mean, like, where it looked good. Besides off the PC, but for a console, yeah. Yeah. Because on the PC, the, you already had your Dooms and stuff like that, and I was playing those on floppy disks before I had Nintendo. That's really probably my true original favorite thing was Doom on the computer. 96. Whew, long time ago. Um... Don't screen look Code of Honor for the Nintendo 64. We, we, so we... Don't been, screen look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, it's so hard on big TVs when we play, like, Call of Duty multiplayer just against each other or against each other. With to not bots. look at where the other person's at. It's so at. hard yeah. because you know the map, like, there's this one map called Stronghold on COD 3 and there's a kitchen and it has red chairs around the table. Bright ass red chairs. So I'm up here looking at my screen, trying not to look where he's at, but I can just see red under me, so I know where you are. Right, right. I understand. It's so hard to not, but like you, you like you do. It's a dirty move if you do it on purpose to try to figure it <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sad. There's not a lot of split screen games anymore. It really sucks, honestly. Yeah, I picked the BB gun too, but we're not allowed to pick that for some reason. Favorite no, toys: I didn't fishing, say that. BB gun rifle, I meant if pen it's knife. One, I want a specific I one. I wish they had knives back then like we do today. I had knives when I was a kid. Like, literally, 
five years old, I already started a knife collection. By 10 years old, I had over 50 knives. Um, then they got stolen. And then I started the collection again. The second one partially got stolen. But, uh, like, I've lost a lot of knives, like, that were very sacred to me. Like, they were passed down to me from my dad and, like, birthday presents and stuff like that that, that I could never replace. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I started collecting when I was real young. But I was allowed to play with that stuff. Like, I was allowed to play with guns. I was allowed to play with knives. Like, uh, my dad wanted me playing with that shit. My dad, when I was a kid, he would make me take apart guns and put together guns and time me. And see how fast I could clean it, how fast I could put it together, stuff like that. Um, I was a hardcore G.I. Joe kid. I had, like, everything. I was a spoiled little brat. See, me, when I say G.I. Joe, this is the thing, though, is I'm saying G.I. Joe, but I had the generic G.I. Joe's. Off. Yeah, but I st but to me, though, you know, being a little kid, it was the same damn thing. And, like, I had this one that could crawl across the ground, and he had a gun, and he'd crawl with his elbows yeah. and his knees, and then... Brrr, and then and I thought it was like the coolest damn thing, thing in the world. That thing is stuck in your head because I've it, heard you bring that yeah, up to me a couple of times. It could move. And to me, like, you know, to have a toy that could move, like, realistically. But, yeah, most of my toys came from, like, you know, the dollar store and shit like that. But they were still fun. You know, when you're a kid, you don't know the difference. Like, yeah. as long as they had muscles, I feel like. When you're a kid, you know, like, when you have, like, uh, like a little army guy or whatever, as long as they got muscles, you know, yeah. like, you feel really cool when they got big-ass muscles. We had some G.I. Joe's, <laughs> but we more had, like, the action figures, like the Batman and stuff like that. And, yes, I remember um, Fear, Lindy Lou. That was an awesome game. Um, I, that 1022 Beretta, I actually, uh, I had a bunch of those. I actually gave, do you remember when we were with my nephew? Mm -hmm. He was just talking about that. I gave him one. I forgot all about it. I was like, I gave you one of those? He's Jared like, yeah, for my birthday. was all about stroking those plastic muscles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Neves, remember this? Noah Spot XL, how dare... Yeah, I do remember that. What, and what, what, what? Because what? I did the, the four cold seals, but that's all I have is the four here. And he says Noah Spot XL. He's, like the, he's basically saying that's the Spartan of the cold oh. steel knives. And I think a lot of people would say that I think the 8010 or 8015, but I guess that won't be the actual Spartan of the group. Um... Yeah, I do need to get some more Cold Steels in here for review. I know they're very popular, and I like them, too. I do like them. Um, so. He-Man, you know that? Oh, man, I, that was my nickname. Every time. That was my damn every nickname. Time I am He-Man. Every time I hear that <laughs> word, there's this rap song. I think it's from I Chief I thought you were going to say my aunt. No, there's this rap song from Chief Keef called Superheroes, and uh -huh. he's, like, rapping about basically guns and superheroes. And every time I see the word He-Man, that line from that song goes through through my head and I don't know if any of you guys know who Chief Keef is but he's a Chicago rapper and he sounds hey, kind of kind of dopey boom hold on let me finish what I'm saying and he <laughs> always says this line and he goes I got my heat I feel like he man and then he keeps singing about like guns and superheroes and stuff like that so and now I can never see the word he man and not think of that dumbass song all right I how think, many I think right now hinders um, do you have now do I don't own them mind? all but in my possession, I have uh, two, four, six. They're not all yours. I just said that. I literally just said that. I said they're not all mine, but in my possession, I have, I think, six. Six or seven. But they're not all mine. Uh, so. So how many do you have? I have two. Thank God. Thank um, God. <laughs> well, no, thank the, uh, the mystery man. Mystery Man? Oh, mystery okay, man. is that that Thank one? Thank the Mystery Man. Mystery Man and Shadow Man? Yeah. Um, what was I about to say? I was about to say something um, before that. Now I don't remember. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh, Duck Hunt. That was a great game. The first one. <laughs> yes. I used to love that shit. Uh, we used to all play it as kids. Cold Steel isn't complete without a 4 Max or a 4 Max Scout. That's a big son of a bitch. I feel like... Don't, I'm not... Talking shit about that knife. I think that's an awesome knife. I think a lot of people love the knife. Quick. But man, at some point, you got to get a damn fixed blade, right? Like at some point, right? Why not have a fixed blade? Like there, there's a point to a folder. Like it's kind of like, um, like say a machete. Would you use a folding machete? You probably would if you're using an Espada or a, you know a Formax. But at some point, it's like, why not just a fixed blade? 
Um, we can't arm wrestle because I have this problem where I can't give up even if I'm in shearing pain. So if we arm wrestle, my arm everything will, break. will get thrown everywhere. My arm broken. will break. You Remember the one time we played Mercy and I wouldn't give up, <laughs> uh -huh. and you were like, "Just say it," and I was like, "I can't." And you're like, "Just fucking say it." I'm yeah. hurting you, and I was like, "I can't." Yeah, and then I wind up giving up. And you up. wound up hurt. I, I wind you, up giving up. You wound up having to stop because I was like, "Oh," oh. <laughs> but I wouldn't say it. If you, I understand if you can put it in your pocket, then it's good enough. But at some point, like sitting down and busting it out and like just doing things with it. it. I mean, at some point, things do get ridiculous, right? Like, but I understand like if you're using it as an outdoors knife or a camping knife or something like that. Cool. I mean, whatever. Even this, I mean, is I think this is, you know, damn near a limit. Let's look at the 24. The X, I know the XM24 is bigger. It is. Actually, it's right even Ooh. with it. So, they're about even. I feel like this is about the max for a folder oh. is like an XM24 or a Recon 1. And this is still good and EDCable. I think the AD10 was awesome. I like the AD10. Somebody asked me to uh, recommend, which one would I recommend? The AD10 or the Ultimate Hunter? And I said, if you're just trying to get like a camp knife or an outdoors knife that you're not going to EDC all the time, then the 8010. I said, but if you're wanting to EDC it, then the Ultimate Hunter, because you know you'll most likely carry the Ultimate Hunter far more than you'll carry the 8010. And a bunch of people, or a few people, agreed and said the exact same thing to the exact same person. Now I don't know what you guys would say, so maybe you guys would disagree. I like the 8010 especially when it was a hollow grind, but I just feel like, you know, for EDC, the 8010 is a little thicker behind the edge, it's a little beefier, and at some point, things are a little too beefy for your pockets, and you should just get a damn fixed blade. Um, the 8015, I like the 8015. I almost like the 8015 more than the 8010, but I don't know. I don't know. That one's a tough one for me. Um, top three hinders in your possession. Um, I love... Love this, uh, the flipper deleted one. This thing's ergos are fantastic. And this is the thing. Check this out. Out of all the hinders, I never thought that, that well, I should have known this. But, okay, so I have two XM24s right now. Literally, my, my complaints for each of them are exact opposite of each other. And you'd think since they're the same knife that they'd be the exact same complaints. They're not whatsoever. So when I do the video on... My XM24, my complaints are 100% different than um, than the Shadow Man's uh, XM24, which is crazy. So, it seems like every one is a little bit different even when they're the same model. Um, like, the, um, the detents are just broken in differently. The action is a little different. Now, I also have, where is it, right here, this one's on Teflon. I think this one's colors, and I was wrong. This is black, my card. I thought it was green, my card. It's actually black, my card. It's just breaking yeah, it looks, in. it looks black. I got pictures of it, and it's actually like... Well, wait, now it looks green. I know. When I have... I have the original picture of it when it was brand new, and yeah. it's like all green. Yeah. But uh, I guess weird. it's black. Anyways, my two favorites, or what did you ask if it... What, you don't even know what the hell. Well, they it was either listed in order. Was it talking. listed in order? Or was it my favorites? I'm trying to remember. You don't even know. We'll find it and tell me. Top three hundred is in your top possession. three. Okay, definitely the this one with the uh with the fuller, um, yeah. and then I have to pick my own, um, the XM18, and then it's hot uh, back here. <laughs> Howdy. Then, yeah, probably this one, my XM18, and then probably my XM24. Why you keep saying mine? Be because you, I'm biased. You keep fucking emphasizing, like, Ours. mine. Mine. My XM18. Mine. Not hers. Mine. Yeah, Douglas did get his ear did. There it is. He did get his ear did. He looking good. Because I have my Carter for this one, and I'm going to switch it soon, and then it's going to be so beautiful. Yeah, you're looking fly as hell. And I got the carbon fiber on my XM24. He got him a little ear. And red G ten. What other colors did we get for the G ten on this? Do you remember? There's red. Uh I don't we don't have my car for this one. No. Blue? The uh carbon fiber and then uh I forget the other color. 
but I got multiple colors for this one too. I lost a pocket knife with my favorite lanyard at the voting center on election day. So bum. That sucks. That really sucks. I've lost a lot of different things. I've lost old lights. I've lost knives. I've lost everything. Did Douglas get his ears did? Yeah, I already answered. I say hell yeah, he out here looking fly as hell. Oh, I didn't hear you. Um, I lost a, oh, I thought I read that. The photo that you have that was almost all green was the eclipse I sent you, not the X-18. Oh, yeah, yeah, the eclipse. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Where is it? I think I have okay. it sitting over there. Yeah. Um, why did I think it was that one? Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, they want to see it a bug out. Did you ever put the scales on it? No. No, I haven't. No. I'm doing it this week. I've been too busy. I'm going to do it this no. weekend. But you know what's crazy? You've been busy with no, other wait. knife stuff, though. Yeah. So why no. can't you incorporate That's that? That's not true. Yeah. Listen, i got to ask a question to you guys. So I've ordered things from Flytanium before. You have? Well, yes. So I ordered these scales and the um the the tie um lock, the tie, the cage, right? Well, before they always emailed me. Alright, so I checked for the email. I didn't get an email from them. So I um I looked in the bank account and I didn't see the money come out either. So I was like, damn it, did I not order it? And I thought I did. So then I went back in, reordered it. Uh-oh. Reordered it. Wait a second though. I, I, I took a picture of, you know, the final thing. And then I went to check the email like a couple hours later. I still didn't get another email. I didn't get an email. And it says on the thing that if you didn't get an email, something might have went wrong with your order. And That's how they get you to pay so To buy times. like 20 of them, right? That's what happened to me on uh, Tuya, but it was a genuine website error. Well, I'm going to check and see if... You better check because sometimes you, when you order online, it takes a couple days to come out of your buffering. account. That's not... That's That might be But it's been over... It's been like a week. No, I, I'm, I'm just saying so, the money can take a while to come out sometimes on online orders. It does happen, but so whoever's in here, um, have you guys ordered from Flytanium recently? And if you did, did you get an email Should right this be away? A question for Flytanium. I did. I sent them an email. So I'm waiting to, for I'll them to the message the back. I think game game equals. But I don't want what I don't want is for them to get sold out. And then I had the opportunity, oh. which oh no came like what will you ever do at the right time? I'm gonna fuck you up tonight. Um, I was actually working. No, on the you're election. skipping I, shit. What am I skipping? This one. Okay, if you guys were to split up, would you fight for custody of your knives or just visitation? Um, I would just take them all. Um, I'd leave. I, I thought leave. your motherfucking answer was gonna be we just wouldn't split up, but that's fine. Go enjoy well, that, your knives. That's not the question. Go would, enjoy your knife. That's not the alone. question. Would you guys alone. split up? It was a question if you did. Live out the rest of your days only hearing the echoes of knife flipping. We wouldn't. Nothing else. We wouldn't split up, but uh, if something happened, happened to happen, then uh, I, I don't came, know how that would go. Starbucks came and handed out free coffee at our voting center. I don't doubt that they did because they have been all up in. I have never seen a company, so many companies, try so hard to get people to vote this year. It's insane. If I showed you guys my work email, the amount of emails I get for like, go vote, talk to your team, tell them to vote, 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 vote. It's insane. Like I've never seen companies. Yeah. Push. I think it's it's pathetic. not a bad thing, but you can kind of tell that they have like a, a clear cut direction they're wanting everyone no, to they, go. No, they were talk, bitching about that about at some of the places. So I don't doubt that, that they did go hand out free that, coffee. That they had these but that's places. That's really nice though, still. That they had these places to go uh, vote, like set up with like the person that like, they were kind of trying to push you towards. Like to vote, like just crazy shit. They like were life like, size they things. were. Uh, Starbucks was paying people the time off to go vote on the day, which I think is cool to allow the time off with no penalties. But actually paying, like paying people while they go vote, like that's, I don't know, like cool, whatever. I that's good. I feel like yeah, it should be. It's a right, you know, whatever. But damn, like it's fine if it's really genuinely just like we want everyone to vote but you can tell that there's an agenda attached to it i love the kaiser sheepdog in my card i think it's an awesome knife the action is phenomenal do you know anyone who has bought the we knife 1911 grips no i do not um they don't have, seems logical they don't have to pay you everywhere to go vote like my 
my Target, for instance, we get the time off, but we do not get paid just to go vote. They don't have to do that everywhere. I would imagine maybe by state there's some laws like that, but like wage laws are state by state, sometimes county by county. So where I live, not like that, for sure. I was watching, um, well, that one guy, he was literally paying felons uh, things off so that they can vote because like in Florida and some other states, you can't vote if you owe the courts any money if you're a felon. So he was literally paying people's things off and it was a lot of money, like one point something million dollars he put into it to pay people's shit off to vote Biden. Then there was a bunch of videos of these people running around like uh, the city and stuff buying people's votes basically and paying for them to vote a certain way and shit like that and or, like, just, like, getting it from them, like, buying it from them, and then they take it and do what they want with it, which is crazy to me. I think it's so stupid. I got my, um, my, uh, little sea snake in. Sea snake! And I got to sharpen it, so I sharpened the AARPM9 for the first time. Um, sharpened up really good. This thing took a nasty edge, but I didn't sharpen the other one because it wasn't mine. It's a prototype, and it was a pass around, but this one, though... Very, very cool. By the way, um, if you guys didn't see it, the one that I reviewed, I sent to Stasa23, and he just did a review on it. He says he's going to get one. Uh, you have a pair of two Tonto from Blade HQ. Came out a while ago. They said they are making more stock. When? I do not know when, but I do not have one. I thought that was pretty cool because I always kind of said that they should kind of do that. Hey, Alexa. <laughs> Who should I vote for? Not DT. My master doesn't like him. <laughs> <It's> Amazon. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, mine was a USB charger instead of a sea snake. I know. You know what? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Do you know that that exact same thing happened to Lavender Pants? He ordered one, and the exact same thing happened. Not a USB yep. charger. Yep. No, he really got something for a computer, like a USB thing for so a computer. So they messed up a bunch of orders. They messed up mine. Mine got held up in Texas, and I I messaged Artisan, and Artisan like got back to me like that and said we're on it well, right. Do you, do you buy some? What? Do you buy something? I bought the sea snake. Oh, you bought it! I bought this weeks ago, and when did that happen? Right I thought after that was got, a loner. The prototype was. I've mailed that out since. How much was that sea snake? 50 bucks, 53 dollars. So, um, <laughs> I've said it a million times, and if you watch the videos, you would know. Anyways, so they didn't mail it out. Well, they did, it got held up. In... Is this what you do? You buy loners because then I'll just think they're always loners. I didn't buy a loner, no, but you bought the same exact knife that was just here on loan so yes. that I would just yes. keep seeing it and think. But I bought it for you. That it's not a purchase. But I bought it for you. I do like it a lot. I bought it for you. No, you didn't. Or you would have came over and gave it to me and said, no, here you go, I, sweetheart. Baby, I bought I, this for you. I actually did. No, you yes, didn't. I did. Yes, I did. You never said. It got here yesterday. Here. I got this for you. No, I said, babe, the artisan sea snake is here for you. And I said that. I did. It's probably on video. What are you taking it back for? It's mine. You'll never see it again. I was again. just going to put it back in the corner. Ever. Um, what do you guys think of Ganzo knives? I like Ganzos. I think Ganzos are awesome. I got a bunch of them. Um, the, I, I'm not that big on their, um, I'm not going to, they're not clones, by the way. They, but they are like, uh, they're, you know, copies. But, uh, but they're good knives, though. I like, I like their knives. They're definitely well built. And if you don't have enough money, like, say, to buy the other one, it's fucking $20, you get a damn good knife. And they also just came out with a titanium knife, which is crazy. Um, Jared, fifty three dollars. Kara stares angrily. <laughs> um, but anyways, about the knife though. Um, my knife. Yeah, about Kara's new knife. Um, and never get she's to so again sweet to. It's so mine. She's so sweet to support Mike Emler in that way. Um, because he's such a good dude. But the knife is a great little fixed blade. And it's so damn slicing. That steel seems legit. I'm I'm kind of liking their AARPM9 steel. I A -A -R -P, do. AARP, as in like ARP, like the old people thing. Yeah. Oh shit! Hey, thanks, bud. We got. Oh man. Um, oh shit. Hold on. But hold on. You gonna go grab weights? Yes. I'll you don't back. have to do that. Baby. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's a yes, fucked up now. People. Um. They look like big weights. No, grab the bigger ones. 
one. There's a bigger one. What? No, I'm just joking. Grab whatever you want. I'm joking, baby. Where's the other one like this? There's one right there. No, that's too big. Okay, well, there's, that's the only one that size. Okay, well, we'll do one, because I really can't lift a 50-pound weight. Kara is so committed to these stickers. I know, ain't she? <laughs> How much does this weigh? Not much. Oh, I'm so weak. I it's used okay. to be able to do this so... <sighs> Here we go, guys. Now we got it. I was going to help you. Oh, yeah. There you go. I got to do the legs up. There we go. I'm in it. I'm doing it, guys. I'm not going to drop it. I'm, I'm, Are you spotting I'm, I'm me? Spotting. That's a little trust you have no, in 20 pounds. No, that's what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to always have a spotter. Okay. It's up. Okay. You don't trust me one it's, bit. It's not about you. <laughs> it's about the weight. Yes, I'm very committed. Uh, Man, I, I haven't lifted weights in so... It's insane when you don't, like, work a specific muscle. I wanted it to go up, and my arm was not going to do it. That's how weights go. No, I know, but you have to understand that for my whole life, curling a 20-pound weight 10 or 15 times was never an issue. So seeing that is just like... You want me to tell you something that helps? <clears throat> Bye, Jesse. Uh, if anybody didn't see that, Alex Knife and Such is going to be doing a giveaway. So when you lift a weight, one thing you should do is face it the one way, and then as you come up, Girl. rotate it. Because then you're going to get all the muscles in your arm instead of just the bi Unless if you're just trying to get biceps, then you, you know, like that. But you want to rotate it up. and it, Because your, your muscle, it, what it does is it gets the inside and the outside of that muscle. So you're using the whole muscle. You don't have to do it, baby. I want to try. I want to see if it makes it easier. I'll bet you the other one would be easier, but it's the same weight, but it's a little different. Oh, yeah. Well, That'd you're supposed easy. to rotate it right there. There you go. Now bring and it up. Go and up. then curl this way as you're finishing. Oh, it's like a full-on, like... Yeah. A f there you go. That is easier. By far. Well, you're using more muscles in your arm. Now, that doesn't mean you don't do just straight curls sometimes, too. But it depends on the workout you're doing. Sea snake. Hey, Yay! Tito! I like that Fist one. Bump. Yeah, I like That's that one, too. That's an easy one. <laughs> um, oh, March my 8th. God, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this is intentional. You know, you have that other one. I bet you it's easier. The big one? No, that one over there. The round one? Yeah. Okay. That one's easier. It's the same weight, but it's easier. Why is it um, easier? He's going to give away two items. Be do just the weight distribution. It's easier. It is, right? No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you lied. Where'd the other one go? That's easier to me. Um, go oh, fuck. Oh, All fuck. Right, I will do each of these exactly one time. <sighs> There's one. My left arm is way weaker. Is it? <gasps> I think it'd be stronger. It's so weak. No. Let, let me do this one. Oh, yeah, that weight is harder. Okay. You were wrong, because okay. I could do it. Okay, it's different to me, then. Okay, we got another one. Raymond Williams, thank you for your weird European money. We really Too appreciate it. Too bad you guys it. don't do this when I work out every day. I'd be getting fucking pumped. Woo! <laughs> All uh, right. I never thought uh, that I could be tortured with donations, but it, it definitely could, uh... Could happen. <laughs> yeah, I need to get a new work a workout channel. I am thinking about starting another channel uh, that's like strictly just a bunch of other bullshit, like not nice you contact. Work European money. But um, yeah, I did see that. I was wondering, like, how I does said, that? Thank you for your weird European money, Raymond. We really appreciate it. I don't know even know how much that is. It's more than five dollars American. Is it? Awesome. Thank you. We appreciate that. We appreciate all the donations. Anyone here drinks soda yeah. pop? Corn pop was a thing too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for donating. You guys have no idea how much the donations seriously help us. Like, put it this way. Um, I have, like, the revenue, the ad revenue. From I missed one? Fist bump? Oh, I, did I, miss, I missed a bell. I just needed to do another bell. Oh. I saw Tito. I did, the, I did it, but I didn't do the bell. But when I look at the, the ad revenue, it goes back for, like, 28 days. Um... Because of the lives, it keeps the ad revenue ad revenue up. If it wasn't for them, like say when we do a live and we don't get donations, you'll watch it dramatically go down. And 
like that money helps us so like because we do so much uh mailing and just everything hey manny z thank you go for it kara what does that mean the bell oh i don't oh. know well, just try you. You uh, didn't do a sticker, so I'm doing the weights. <laughs> that requires an emoji. <laughs> um, but uh, but yes, thank you guys so much, and thank you, Manny Z. Corn pop uh, was a bad everybody dude. Everybody who donated, thank you. Um, yes, yeah, corn pop was a bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's so full of shit, man. Okay, that that story is funny though. For anyone that doesn't know, uh, uh. Joe Biden told this story one time of because he always tries to every politician always tries to do that. I grew up in a bad area thing. Right. He didn't even to grow like up in a relate bad area. with people. Well, like I I don't know. It seems like he grew up in like a hundred places. I always feel like he changes it. But he started telling this story. Jared told me about this, and I saw the video. I don't care who you like. This story is funny. Hilarious. Because you can tell it's just a bullshit politician thing. Yeah. And it is so funny because he's standing up there talking about like this like fight that took place or something, and he's talking about like this guy in the neighborhood, this like bad guy, and he like he gave. It was him, at like, the pool because he worked at a pool. And he's like, man, this guy's name was Corn Pop. <sighs> Corn Pop was a bad dude. <laughs> Corn Pop was a bad dude. But that was so made up. No one like that sounds like somebody, a person who didn't grow up in the hood trying to make yes. up a street name for like that guy in the hood, Corn Pop. He probably had some corn pops for breakfast that morning. That was the first thing he thought of. Probably something corn stupid. Pop. That's why I thought it was so funny pop. when Trump called him out during the debate when he's trying to say, oh, uh, he's trying to look at you guys and he's trying to talk about around the table and trying to make you feel like, you know, part of the family type shit. And uh, Trump goes, yeah, that's a, like a typical um, politician answer because he asked him a legit question, you know, but when you're asked a hard question, the best thing to do is to try to get the people to look at you and feel like, you know, like he's part of your family type shit. His and I thought that was so funny when Trump called him out on that and said, yeah, that's a typical politician answer. His name was Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops is a bad dude. All right. Let me do another question, sir. But, sir, okay. ma'am, ma'am. When, when you are out shopping, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? Oh, I know one. What? Um, okay, so when I'm walking up to the register, and there's a, a person behind the register talking to the person that's like trying to pay and get by, and like talking to them. Like the, the cashier won't stop talking, you mean? Won't stop talking the to person. the person. Yeah. And they got a fucking line, like 15 people in line, and yet they're not just being nice. They're having full-blown conversations, yeah. and it's like, listen, man, I gotta go. I ain't got time for you to fuck around. Like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, that We used to have this lady. It's irritating. We used to have this lady at Walgreens, and everybody knew how she was. She was a sweetheart, so I liked the lady. She was a sweetheart, but the problem was, was she would talk for so long that she would have 20 people in line, and she it's not like the next person she would rush on. She would start talking to them, too, and, like, you would watch, like, three or four people go through, and eventually, you, the next person would come up, and you're like, just please get through this person, and she'd start with that talking about, like, oh, what do yeah. you eat for breakfast, and you're just like, motherfucker, get um, over it. Like, the, I gotta go. And the, uh, I, so when I walk in, I would just leave. Yeah. When I seen her, I wouldn't even go to, go on the line. Like, uh, that. seems logical said what I was, or no, I'm sorry. Q and Fiend said what I was gonna say, which is um, when you are like, when you're like walking in a store and somebody in front of you has a cart, and they're just fucking going so slow, and you know they can hear you behind them. Right. And like you just want to get around. You right. don't have a cart. You're not measly just like wandering around <sighs> looking and you just want to get around. I had this actually happens a lot. So I don't know if this really counts, but it happens a lot when I'm trying to bring milk. My Starbucks is within a Target. So whenever I'm trying to bring milk in a cart from the back to the front and I'm trying to walk through the store with a cart of milk, this happens to me often. And I don't understand what like I don't look like a worker. For all they know, I'm just somebody buying milk. Uh -huh. Okay? I will get to that. And, um, so I'll be walking, and th this has happened a couple times where I will be behind someone with my fucking cart. I'm going fast. They see me going fast. They'll make eye contact with me taking up the whole aisle, and then just turn back around and don't move. And there's not room for me to get around. And I had this happen one time where I'm walking behind him, walking behind him. So I'm like, fuck this, I'm cutting around an aisle. So I go around an aisle. And I swear these people would speed up 
just to like stay in front of me when I would come back out yeah. and then go, go slow again. Like, right, it honestly right, feels right. intentional sometimes. Zach, thanks, bud. We appreciate you. Only 31 thank you, thank likes? You. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Come on, man. If you guys like the content, like the video or dislike the video. That would be awesome, too. You can always let us know what the fucks we're doing wrong. Um, yeah, the sticker is... Another wrong. thing that I hate is in the mall, right? In the mall, they do that. Yes. You will get people that are in a group. Like, it'll be like five girls in a group. And they're, <laughs> they're <laughs> tiptoeing. Don't. And, then, and don't. it's like sometimes, and I hate to be like this. And, and you go, <laughs> no, well, right, well, then when I go around them, it's like I feel like I'm going 100 miles an hour. Because yeah. like, I, like, trying to cut them off. It, you, you finally find a section where you can get through. And you just zoom right around them. But, like, I feel like sometimes I just want to fucking say as I'm going by, that's why you're so fat. <laughs> you know, like, fucking, because it'll be like a bunch of people like, why are you going so slow? Because it's beyond just like I'm looking around. You're talking and tiptoeing, and you know there's people behind you trying to go around you. You know yeah. that. But you guys are spread, spread out. Spread out on the into, whole aisle. Right, into a fucking yeah. line. That's just annoying to take up the whole aisle. And somebody else said something about the lottery ticket buying thing when someone gets in front of you, cuts in front of you, and buys like a million oh, things. Oh, man, man. This is the worst thing, I though. I hate that. Have you ever... I've had it happen a couple times where... For whatever reason, maybe I'm not quite ready to pay, or I have a couple things, and the guy behind me has nothing, or and is just gonna get gas, or like one thing. So I'll be like, "Go ahead and go." Yeah. And then they sit there and pick through lottery tickets. Holy fucking right. fucking shit! Whoa, Ronan, hey, man. <laughs> thanks, man. I feel like I need to do something. That's insane. What do I do? Thank you. Thank I don't know you, what to man. do. That's insane. What do I do? I, the, something. You can't do a backflip right here. I, I, Sweet God Jesus! What do I do, Doug? Let's... God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, I don't man. know what to do. I have to do something. Well, just give him a thank you. How about that? I said thank you. Well, that, I think that he didn't ask for anything. He just want, wanted to, to be an awesome dude. That's amazing, man. Thank you so much. Like I said, man, these do the donations really... Don't do that right here. Please don't. It's happening. Don't In do three, that right here. two, one. You have no trust. Absolutely none. Okay. Thank Put you. Down. you did good. I juggled you for a hundred dollars. I just want to be able to say I got paid a hundred dollars to juggle. Now I can say that. <laughs> Ninety-nine bells. We'll give. We'll give ten. <laughs> That's why. That's surprising for you because you hate that bell. You guys know he secretly hates the bell. He just. I don't hate it. it. I he just, does. I just feel like you guys don't like it. They because love feel, the bell. I feel like it rings. Like if somebody's wearing headphones, I feel like as soon as money comes up, they're like trying to pull their earbuds out. But I don't no. know because I never listened to it with earbuds. They so. love it. They love it. Um, I'm going to listen to this with earbuds What else after. does Jared secretly hate? I don't know. <laughs> Zach! Oh, man. Thanks. That's the replay. Got to head to the post office later, everyone. All right, Zach. Thank you for swinging in. You must be, well, obviously, it's a different time where you're at. So the post office is closed, but hey, make it to the post office, man. Don't be late. <laughs> thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you, you should the get the QSP man. penguin. You 100%. guys are amazing. Yes, QSP Cheap penguin is awesome. Cheap and worth it. That's a damn good knife. 100% worth it. For twenty five bucks, you can't beat that. Like for the yeah. with the micarta you get, um, yeah, it's an amazing knife. Uh, man, thank you guys for the donations. I can't, I can't uh, thank you guys enough. Like it's seriously, man, it really helps us all out a lot. I just got some platinum, titanium skills for the bug out, and it completely changed life. Oh, busted! That's amazing because that's what I wanted to do. To it was get some titanium skills, but now we got some. Badass, some badass scales we're gonna put on it, and I got some titanium scales coming for the. F hey, since you got some titanium scales, did they email you right after? I knew you were gonna say that, literally. Because I just asked it a little bit ago, and nobody <laughs> answered me. But I got some titanium scales coming for the Manix, but I don't um, know what's going on. Um, uh, I had to reorder it, and I still don't know because I, I never got an email. I really Normally want to answer do. a comment. Okay, answer Somebody a comment. said, what kind of noise do penguins make? Quack. It is not a quack. No. I can do it for you. It is like a... No, wait. That was like a chicken. It's like a... How much is the S35? Uh, I think it's 50. Uh, 57, I think. I think it's 57. It's not that much, though. My it's, condolences, Brianna. It's pretty good. What happened? Her phone died. Oh, well, 
Rest in peace. God bless. Um, do I buy D2 or S35? Okay, so this thing depends on where you live. If you live in an area where you got like lots of salt water and shit, I'd go S35. If you don't care about rust, I'd get the D2. I do not think that the S35 VN version is going to be that much better unless if you are really hard on it and you really need the edge retention. In all reality, you're not going to know the difference. I don't think. Um... But, unless if rust is an issue for you. I just seen rust on an M390 knife. And, um, I'm going to talk about it during the review. I'm not going to tell you guys what knife it was. But, I got the review coming up soon. I got it off. It was just some spotting. But, that tells you, man. And, even M3, it wasn't my knife. So, it did come. And, I haven't had it out or anything like that. So, it wasn't like I did anything. It must have came like that. But, um, I think I want to get a like a train horn for the big donations. Mix, I get Illinois? a fog horn, but I want to get a train horn like the wooden ones. Well, Illinois is well, you already know that if you're in Illinois, Illinois doesn't get we don't really get rust. Um, our cars get rusty because of snow and salt, but that's not knives. Knives don't really like D2 is great here, and that's what I mean. If if you're not worried about rust, right? Like, because it's not even just about where you live. It's about what you do. So I shouldn't have even said about where you live. I should have said what you do with it. Like, if you're going to fucking cut fruits and food and stuff, you probably want S35. It, and it's not it's not a big um, knife, so you don't really need the toughness or anything. But S35 is a great seal. It depends on how much you're going to use it. Can I ask you something? Please, baby. If you were, If you got sent to the Witness Protection Program, what would you pick for your new name? First and last name? I'd have to think about it. Right now. Right now? I want to know. Probably something very unique. Like? I don't know, like, uh... Like? Um... Sabenza. 25 jumping <laughs> jacks, know. Kara? I'd probably come up with something unique, like a knife name or something. Like something. Are you trying to back... Are you trying to do... Something for a pr you already did the donation Dash. and now you're telling me to do jumping jacks. That what seems is that? a little shady, actually, and that was very delayed. So I feel like you just you thought yeah, out too I, long. Yeah, that, that, you can't just you gotta ask add that for in it. the donation. And you and you can't come up with something like unrealistic either. Like, oh, let's see you do five backflips, you know, and land on your fingertips. <laughs> If you're with yeah, wait. Protection, so you said Sabenza? To be John Smith. Sabenza? Very true. Very Sabenza? True. I just said something like because yeah, well, it means worker. That's what that means. So I was trying to think of something that means something, like something unique. Do you know what I always thought was cool? Do you remember the movie Outsiders from back in like the the early '90s, late '80s? Are you listening uh, to me or no? By Amy. Um, yeah, they have like Pony Boy, that thing. Right, yeah, his yeah, name yeah. was Soda Pop. I thought yeah. that was the coolest fucking name back in the day. Soda Pop? That'd be a bad I just ass named name. one of my horses Pony Boy. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Stay golden, Pony And then boy. I changed it to surname. Yeah, there you go. Josh, a stay golden, Pony Boy. Um, I love The Outsiders. I read the book before I ever seen, because we had to read it in school, and then we got to watch the movie. But, um, but yeah. Great, great movie, great book. I think book. I would name <clears throat> you... Yeah, like Soda Pop. I think I would name you <clears throat> Jose Cuerpo. No. Yes! No, because then I... Whatever. How about Charles Manson? <laughs> <laughs> Taken. Uh, How about Marl's Chanson? Yes, good Chanson? night, Amy. Good night, Amy. How about Marl's Chanson? Marl's Chanson? Yeah. That's another chance. I'm going to name you Marl's. Marl's Chanson. Outsiders was good, both book and movie. Did you have to read it in school? Bojack Horseman. Bojack. That's I, like, I like Bojack. Ralph Mach Ralph I don't know how to say that name. Machio or Machio. M Machino? Ralph Machio. Oh, I thought there was an N. Machio. Is it Machio or Machio? Machiato! Machio. Um, oh, sorry. This is probably echoing in this thing. I'm right next to the speaker. Wham! I literally just named another horse in my game El Guapo. That is so weird. I was going through all these names for my horse in my game, and literally one was Pony Boy, one was El Guapo, the other one was Pony Montana, which was a really good one, and then I had uh, Al Capone. They, they were great, great. Oh, great that was names. the Karate Kid. Okay. Um, and in school you read it. You know what's kind of crazy is that I know this sounds like I'm retarded, but that was one of the only books I think I enjoyed actually in school. What? Was The Outsiders. Like, there was a couple books I probably enjoyed, but that one was really good. Do you know what we had to watch in school? We had to watch, um, do you remember Dangerous Minds? The one with the Coolio song? Uh, Gangster Paradise? 
Did you even sing that right? That didn't sound right. Um, anyways, we had to watch that in school. Um, Pony Montana. I think they were trying to uh, to teach us because all the violence and shit. Like, they were trying to, like, get you to... Uh, Be violent? No, to, like, wake up, like, to the violence and stuff. Because at the end, the kid dies, you know, from being in a gang and shit. Was like there that. a book that you absolutely hated in school? Yeah, most. I just... <laughs> I didn't no. read them, to be honest with you. I never read them. Never read Pony them. Pony Montana. Yeah, I, like I have the best horse names ever. I try to think of yeah. the other ones I thought of, because they were funny as hell. What was the other one I thought of? I'm trying to remember now. I feel like everybody knows that Gangster Paradise song. Gangster Paradise. By Coolio. They got the situation in that average. I hated the book I Am the Cheese by Robert Cormier. Where the red fern grows. That book was rough. Do you know, there's a lot of books, man. I, I know I read, but I don't remember nothing. Nothing. Um, I remember Matilda. Like, you know, the movie Matilda. It's a kid's movie, but the book was a little different. And we had to read the book, and I thought that was a pretty good book. Um, but that was before the kids' movie came out. And the kids' movie was more of a kids' movie. The actual book was more, you know, more adult, I guess. What? It was David Hasselhoof. <sighs> that was your horse's name? <laughs> David Hasselhoof. And um, and then there chicken was legs. there was also Britney Spurs. I always say I have chicken legs. Um, you don't. I, but I always say I do because I feel like I do. My dad had chicken legs. Um, like... I feel like I have chicken legs, um, but I don't have that where, like, I only work out my upper body. Hey! Thanks, Ray! We appreciate you, man. Cool. That's Black awesome. On. Yeah, you're cool. doing, you, oh, gotta, you gotta do a swipe. I did! Okay. I even did my other arm. That, that emoji reminds me of a great question. Would you like to hear it? Sure. What is something that people do that thinks that they think makes them look cool but actually doesn't? Smoking. I think being overly progressive. Oh, yeah, that's definitely I think stupid. people think that makes them look cool, but no. in the wrong context, yeah. it makes them look really dumb. I think you look um, like a fucking idiot when you do that. St S Sylvester Stallion. That's a good one. That was on Some the, Stallone. that was on the, that was also on the website where I was getting my horse names from. Well, thanks, all right? And uh, tell Kelly, what's up? Or actually, what's up, Kelly? Being woke, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, woke is fucking... I, I don't... Oh, man. Let's not. Yeah, okay. let's not even go there. Um, just because I feel like that uh, at some point you sound fake as shit because, like, you don't have to care what anybody does, right? Like, me, I don't give a fuck what anybody does. I don't... Like, in any way, I could give a shit less because it's not me, it's not my life. I might not be the one to do it, but I don't have to, to be woke and make you feel like I support you. I don't give a shit if you think I support you or not. And I think people just overly want people to think that they're supportive of a group or whatever. And I, I don't I, don't I can't stand the blowing, blowing clouds, clouds, of, clouds of vape people because we are both people who genuinely use these to stop smoking actual cigarettes. And don't. <laughs> um, he and saw me winding I, up. <laughs> and there that are those the people up. that just started vaping from nothing, which I think is yeah. the dumbest thing ever. Why would you just start vaping to vape? But I quit smoking cigarettes, so I, I feel like, because I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes for so long, and nothing worked. Even other vapes didn't work. Yeah, I It know. wasn't until this one, it was like certain flavors, because... People think like, oh yeah, just vape. But the thing is, though, is that a lot of vapes, it's not like cigarettes that taste nasty. Like, especially yeah. the fruit ones, I Ugh. think they taste fucking horrible. So I had to find some that actually, like, tasted not like a cigarette, but like the closest thing. And then also cured the urge. As soon as I got this, like, literally quit, like, pretty much that week. Like, no, in a couple months. No, there was no. a long while where we were you doing still half and smoked. Half. Yeah. You do you but use these at home, and every time you went out, you said cigarettes. Let me rephrase. What I mean is inside. Yeah. Right? So what I did was as soon as I, because before, I used to have a problem with waking up. Like, I have a huge problem with sleeping, and, um, like, I've had it since I was a kid. Like, serious issues with sleeping. And uh, so I'd wake up every hour on the hour and smoke. And I could not not do it. And I'd have to go all the way outside to smoke a cigarette. And it started getting ridiculous. 
And um, so the second I started smoking these, have not woke up to smoke a cereal. I'll wake up to smoke this thing, but that's different because I don't have to get up out of bed, go all the way outside, you know, in the snow and everything else. So it literally saved my life, I feel like. Um, Game Geek, we, in a lot of we ways. use the, the jewels um, just because they use salt nicotine, which is a bit stronger. And like, I don't know, it's just basically the reason they get you to stop smoking cigarettes so quickly is because the nicotine con content is so high. Also, a lot. That of it kind of just does like what a patch does, but you still get the oral fixation and the action of doing it, which makes it a lot easier. But we use the jewel, J U U L. Also, they're expensive though. Also, you can get them just where we're expensive. at very easily yeah like in any gas station you don't have to go to a vape, vape shop yeah. and also a lot of places like with other devices they buy like homemade like versions so like even these right if you get these off of amazon these pods they're most likely fucked up and people got like poison yeah. from them because they were using vitamin e oil or some shit which is Dangerous. poisonous to put into a vapor but when you actually get them from a you know gas station or from them, because you can order them through Jewel, then you know they're made right. And they have nothing but what it's supposed to have in it. And lots of other ones have other ingredients in them. I want just the two ingredients that yeah, there's I need. Two, nicotine. There's literally two carcinogens in nicotine in this particular brand. Which I like. Um, and I think... I don't know about marketing yeah, to I don't kids. Think so. I think I kids will do anything. Yeah. That I just I don't think that just having fruity flavors no. or you know all there these were... things make it appeal to kids. Because I mean, if you actually watch Jules' actual commercials, they're literally littered with "This is to quit smoking." It is not for blah blah blah. And I know they yeah. did that because of backlash, but that's the thing. Unfortunately, kids did that with cigarettes too, and they do you, you know, know it, it's always gonna happen. Do you know that they when they took out um, mint, we almost went back to smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Like, we were we, this close. And not just us, a lot of people. And those were all adults. Like, literally, when they yeah. were trying to say that and bringing it to court and everything, there were hundreds of people, elderly, old people, all saying that this is the flavor I used, and this is the only thing that worked for me to get off of smoking. I now, really for thought us, we were going to smoke cigarettes mint. again. It, it, for us, it was the mint ones. Yeah. And they took it away because they tried to use that argument when it literally stopped us from smoking. We quit smoking cigarettes with that. Then we almost went back to smoking cigarettes because they took it away. So... Uh, like, kids, if um, you're going to say that, kids are going to smoke cigarettes or smoke whatever. They're going to do, do whatever anything. to look cool. So that yeah. doesn't matter. The point is is that if it helps people that already do smoke get off of smoking, kids, it's kind of like, okay, so like beer, right? Or alcohol. If kids steal, they're going to do that anyways. It doesn't matter if it has colors on it or certain flavors. They're going to do it if they're going to do it. Yeah. But I mean, there are a lot of adults that like the fruit right. flavors too. But, um... Do you feel better now that you only vape? I would say oh, hell yeah. there is a massive, massive difference. Like, a hundred percent. My stamina. I feel way better. I don't have a cough. I don't, I I'm not congested. Cough, I don't get reoccurring bronchitis. I yeah, All these things yeah. I don't have. But I will say, though, that there is still a noticeable shortness of breath. Yeah, I feel like, like I feel like my just my lung capacity in general is small. And that's the one thing where it's like you do this for a while and there's still I'm not saying that they're So mine good for went you, up but mine went up right away. Even my yeah, doctor it's when higher I talk, than cigarettes. Even when I talked to my doctor about it, she said you you're gonna notice within two days the difference. Within two days everything started tasting better. I could smell things. Now a cigarette I can smell a cigarette from a mile away. I can smell it yeah. on anything. Like if I did smoke a cigarette I would smell it on my clothes, and I would separate that from even my dirty clothes. Like I would, because I would smell it the whole time, and I don't like it. So, uh, but my stamina is up now. Yeah, you do still have a little bit of shortness of breath compared to probably not doing it at all. But by far better than smoking cigarettes. I think they say it's ninety five percent better than cigarettes. So, you know that's a huge difference. And I felt like I was on my way to cancer. I even went and got checked for it before I switched because I really felt, because I kept feeling like congestion in my chest and a tightness in my chest. And I went through bronchitis multiple times in a row and in a bad way, like it almost killed me twice. And uh, I couldn't even lift my arm, the bronchitis so bad. I thought I literally had a blood clot and was going to die. Um, yeah, I thought I was having heart too. attacks, but it wasn't. What it was, was my, I, I wasn't getting even scarring from it. And 
fucking, once I start smoking these, I haven't had one since. Hey. Why? If Not you, saying I won't get one again, but I haven't had one since. If you could ask your pet uh -huh. one question and yeah. get a response from them, what would you ask? Only one. I don't know. I'd probably have to think about it, but probably something... Um, like, think about Gira, just most recent pet. What's, like, one thing you could want to ask her? I don't know, because if I, I couldn't answer, are you happy? Because I already know she's happy. Um, what, what, I don't know, maybe something like, I what think, is your favorite thing? Because if I knew that, yeah. then I could offer that. I think I would reserve it for when I would, like, have to put my dog to sleep, and I would ask, like, you do know that I'm trying to put you out of misery, right? Or do you want this? Like, I would ask the dog. Like, oh, like, if they were this? old? Yeah, yeah, like, I think, I think at that point, like, you kind of know. Like, with I know, Gira, but I just would want to ask. Like, with gear when we put her down, I knew it was time. But, you know, can I tell you a story? And this kind of, like, leads to that, because I would have loved to have asked her. So, okay, so gear at this time, she was, like, um, two years old, right? And this is a fully trained, highly trained dog. If you guys don't know, I trained dogs. Like, this dog was a brilliant dog. She was a bull mass, big-ass dog. So, I was gone for a minute, and I came back, and my dog was at this place, which was we call the farm. And there's a lot of people. There's probably like 50 people there. Well, there was this one specific person that was there, and when I walked in, my dog looked at him like he did something to her. And she never did that like, because before, like, she would, like, if she didn't like you, you fucking knew it because she would tell you. She'd get aggressive. She got scared. And I never seen her get like With this who? ever. This person. This person. Okay. who's a fucking crackhead and a bunch of shit. Anyways. Okay. So, um, with this person. So she got scared and flinched. And I never seen her flinch from nobody, yeah, that's right? shady. So I instantly attacked him. I went after him. And, um, I went after him and... Um, like I literally put hands on him. Like I went after him and, um, I accused him of hurting my dog and I didn't, I really didn't know. Uh, but to me, like I know my dog, all right. Did he I, admit it? No, he didn't fucking admit it. But then, um, like a different lie came out, but, uh, but no, he didn't admit it. And then I started going off on him and, um, you know, he said that he didn't, but I still feel like, like. I did the right thing. Like, I feel like he did something because I also know he doesn't like dogs. Yeah. So I feel like he walked in, my dog barked at him and it kicked her or something. And I maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what happened, but I know, I know my dog and I know like he did something to her. So I yeah. fucking did something to him. So you would ask her if that was true? That's what I feel like, like something yeah. like that. Like, did I do the right thing or did I do the wrong Can thing type shit? Yeah. Jared, I am still having a hard time finding my card of scales for a CVV backlash that I need for a gift. Um, Is that just a scales? I didn't know they even had scales for a CVV backlash. Do they sell them with scales? If I was you, if you, I mean, if you can make them, you can buy just blanks of my card and cut it out yourself if you don't mind doing that but if you if you want to buy them outright i don't even know that they make them stas is here what's up stas look on etsy yeah look on etsy because etsy is where people make shit on their own so that's more likely to find something there my 15 year old beagle died on my birthday i washed her take her last breath i had a beagle russ yeah I've, i just put my beagle to sleep I've lost a few dogs. Ago. Um, I put that dog I was just talking about a minute ago. I had to put her down. She was 13 years old, though. Big dog. And she, it was time. Um, yeah, I've, I've watched a few dogs. I've even had to put dogs down myself um, because, you know, you have to. I've put a few animals down. I am fucking innovative as hell. I f Could I pull it now? Out? Oh, that hurt? No, I guess not. Not bad. Here, Look I'll at this, guys! Lindy, are you in? Let's I, start this oh yeah. business. Ray from um, it, Everyday City Carry, he ate his own dog. Um, what? Yeah, and his where he came from, um, he uh, like I, it's a normal thing, like for, I think for them to eat dog. And when you're hungry and you're poor, like it's something that I mean, if you have a dog, I guess it's kind of like you know, like if we ever go too poor, we always have Lucy. Mm -hmm. You know, like, kind of like that type of thing. But I don't, you know, I've never personally ate dog, but I've eaten a lot of things. A lot of damn things, but never dog. Um, yeah, I remember you, we talked about Jared it, is butchering the story. 
What? I'm sure I am butchering the story. I'm just saying, like, I heard you talk about I'm it. I'm not that, that... Oh, probably because of the way you're like, we always have Lucy over there. No, no, no. I, your dad... I, know, I remember you saying, like, your dad fed it to you or something like that. I was talking about, like, the culture. Like, the people... Um, in that culture, just like in lots of other cultures. Like in India, like, cows are sacred, which I think is so right, cool. Right, right. Or like um, in China, they eat other, like, dogs and cats and stuff like that. Like, in different cultures, things that we think is weird is just a normal thing to some places. I'm not saying it was normal to you, right? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying to people in other cultures, it does, it is normal. Hey, baby. What? Um, On the internet, cats are sacred. <laughs> what, baby? No. What? I thought you were wanting me to look. No, I want to ask you something. What is... What is the number of time you can wear a pair of jeans before it's considered dirty? What's an acceptable number of times to wear jeans before you're like, these Depends are Depends on what you do, but twice, maybe three times. Some people go like a Let's week or two. Let's say you don't do anything exceptionally dirty, but you're just wearing them daily Just wearing activities. them? Well, I feel like, because, like, you know how things kind of structure a little bit? Yeah. Right? So, like, you could put on a pair of pants and it could be tight around the waist. By the end of the day, they're not tight no more. So, I yeah. feel like that plays a part in it, too. So, I'm going to say two to three times. I would say two. Two? Five? I, well, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with five times. I think as long as they're not dirty, then it doesn't really fucking matter, right? The point is, is that... The, I think it's different for a girl because our jeans are very... Well, depending on how you wear them. Like, yeah. my jeans are tight. So, yeah. like, if I wind up getting hot or something like that for a couple of minutes, like, I feel like I don't want to wear them anymore. Not that I'm, like, sweating, that's but, my, like... Right, that's my point. Like, there's ways you can, like, there's times, like, where I might change twice in a day or something if I know I'm going to go do something dirty that I won't wear my nice pants for that I'm already wearing, so I might change back out of them. Something like that. I'll fold them back up and put them with my pants. Yeah. But do you know there's... I don't even really like wearing them. I, I listened to this one dude. He was, uh, um, like, a, like, a men's fitness... Not men's fitness. Men's, um, like clothing person um and he was saying that when you buy an expensive pair of pants like i'm talking about like a really expensive pair of pants that you don't want to wash and dry them every time you wear them you want to wear them as many times as you can before you wash them because the more you wash them the more they go through a washer and dryer the more older they'll get like every time you wash them and dry them yeah. they're older like, some people only put them in the freezer yeah and that's something i don't agree with because i think they're it's gonna weird. stink yeah. like you want like but the point of that is to freeze them kill all the bacteria keep wearing them and then when they do start getting a stench that's when you wash See, them i like to but shrink my clothes so um yeah, put them in a freezer. Freezer kills the bacteria and stuff, but you're still supposed to wash them. It's just you can put them in a freezer for a few weeks, and then after when they start getting dirty or start getting stinky, you want to wash them. But the point of that is to kill the bacteria without washing them and ruining them and stretching them and stuff if like that. If you use vinegar to get rid of the smell but you're not washing them, then it would just smell like vinegar. If you're washing them, vinegar can help deodorize, but if you're just straight putting vinegar on them and then throwing them in the freezer, that would be smell disgusting. Like vinegar. Yeah, I don't know how that works because I've never done that, but I do know people do the freezer thing to save their pants from going in the washer every time they wear them. I feel like Danny just What's made up, the Sean most... What's up, Sean I feel like Danny just made the most obvious statement I've ever heard in my life. What? Bleach kills bacteria. Does it, it now? Does. It does. Yeah. Um, good one, Danny. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Truth. Um, um, Mark, I always look like the look of the bare knuckle. Don't own one though. Got other knives higher on my purse. Okay, have... This one kind of looks like the bare knuckles. Zero zero nine five. It's very cool. This is an awesome. It's kind of like it's it's. You can definitely tell it's more higher end. So, like, it doesn't feel like a bare knuckle, but it has the look of the bare knuckle, but it feels more higher end. Plus, it is because it's titanium and better material. Um, okay. We just, hey. Wash your jeans. Thing, yes, wash your ass at the this same This thing time. is, like, not even heavy. Well, I wouldn't imagine it's very heavy. No, I mean, like, for it to be hanging all the way on my hair, though, you're gonna, you're gonna try it and it not knife? be bothering, like, my hair at all, like, I feel like I can just, like. Yeah, try that like with that one. I feel like there's no string on it. Here's your joke, baby. <laughs> I got to get that back to him because I'm done with that. I washed it. But it's all I'm serious, though. Like, this is the like a really good weight. 
At first, I thought drinking it was a little chlorine big. kills sheeple. That's hilarious. That's a good one. Which one should I get? QSP penguin, or artisan cutlery, sea snake. Ooh, that one's tough because they're both two different. Oh, you're talking about the S thirty five version or the sea snake? snake? Yeah, I can't speak on it because if you want a folder for the pocket, then definitely the the penguin. But if you want a good little EDC knife, the 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 sea snake's gonna cut better. The hands down. The, the penguin's going to have better ergos and be a better EDC knife. <laughs> Seems logical, said, may, may I get a sticker when you send back the cougar? Are you fucking yeah. kidding? <laughs> you have to pay. <laughs> no, man, I'm we'll hook kidding. you up. We'll hook you up. Um, Ty Bods <laughs> taste like Jolly Richards. <laughs> oh, fuck. How did you tie the knife to your hair? I might try that. He has long hair. Um, I, I don't think it would really stay that long. I just kept wrapping it around like a hair tie over and over and over Basically, again. Basically, you'd wind up losing your knife. If you actually tied, though... To a, to a hair tie and To a do hair it, tie and yeah. did it, you could definitely do it. No, I don't, I don't think you would. I think if you had a really small neck knife, like that one Alien Gage gave us... I think you legit could make, like, a thing. Or you could dreadlock a piece of your hair, get a dread, and then put, like, a dread bead in it and yeah. attach the knife to it. That'd be or braid it into a braid. Yeah. you. Oh, yeah. I could totally braid this in. If you don't have a Neves knife sticker, what are you doing with your life? I'll bet you you also didn't even drop, drop a like on this video. Oh, shit. Call Which would y'all get? A, a 0770 or the bare knuckle? Ooh. Well... The 0770, um, that's discontinued, and I think, and it's a lot more expensive. Probably the bare knuckle, but hard to say. It depends on if you have the money or not. I would probably hide a decent sized knife in my hair. Boom! I feel like a lot of girls could. Sounds like you need to pony up two fucking dollars. Do you guys collect other stuff other than knives? I collect 4K Blu rays as well. Yeah, I um, collect <clears throat> souls. <laughs> Um, nah, yes and no, like, we do, like, little things, we have flashlights, we have, uh, I have watches, um, not a huge collection or anything like that, um, I used to collect, like, coins, I used to have a huge coin collection, gold, silver, and jewels, I used to have shit like that, I don't have that no more, um, I feel like I go through, like, things and times in life, you know, I used to have a massive gun collection. You know what, uh, Dire Straits, if it makes you feel any better, we didn't actually have any stickers at the time that, um, you got the Elementum, or we would have just automatically sent one. We always do. Yeah, we usually throw, like... If somebody who's loaned us something, they get We usually like, throw back. on a sticker. <laughs> Unless if they already have stickers from us sending right. them stickers. If, you know, we've already done it, then I'm not just gonna continue to just keep sending stickers, unless if you ask for this one. This thing is in here now. Uh, <clears throat> now it's in there? It's good now? Yeah, I feel like that's going to happen. You're going to break something right behind With you. My hair yeah, foot. you're going to swing it and... Stab Douglas's I wouldn't own Or it's going to fly out and would stab someone. Try. Um, some karambits are cool. Some, though, are... Eh, I feel like they're a little gas station-y, but there are some karambits that are badass. I'm on a thick gun kick right now. Yeah, I feel like you go through, uh, you know, like, times, right? Like, I man, I used to have... Um, Thick. <laughs> I used to have one time I counted I had over 150 guns um but you know sometimes you just go through things and just like even now like there's things that I have a collection of but I don't necessarily collect goodbye who's game saying goodbye geek. who did game geek game geek the one Thanks that thinks coming, I'm bud. fine somebody uh oh yeah I was what? waiting for um because somebody said said that I think I said that in the last live what? they said um this really works though. how'd they put it they said oh because I I showed my face in the video and they or something and they said I thought you were older or something right like I thought you were much older and I couldn't help but think because I was freshly shaved like how old do you think I am all right or how old did you think I was and how old do you think I am oh yeah right? so there's two different things how old did you think I was and yeah. now how old do you think I am because I bet I'm older than you think but um. Chris Wolf, he's not in here right now, but he's got the most beautiful beard a man could have. I mean, the fucking thing is fantastic. And he's made me want to grow a beard this winter. Don't know if I will or not, but I could. Um, I definitely... Yeah, you keep saying it, but then you keep pussing out. Yeah, I keep pussing out. Um, keep growing a vagina. Every time... He tries comes, to grow a beard, and then do you know what problem? It gets Every itchy. Time. It gets itchy, and I start itching it, and the second I start itching it, the razor comes out. But I can grow a beard, I feel like, semi-quickly. I know they don't just grow out, but 
I feel like uh, I'd get a good one started in a couple months. It's a new style. Now I've put the hair tie through one of the holes, and now I have the chain as like an accessory hanging down. Okay. So, but it's actually tied in with a hair tie rather than the chain. I feel like your hair would just eventually get caught up in stuff, and then you'd be. It really you isn't. You would try to get it on, and you'd be like, my hair Fuck is tied me. around the chain. Yeah. You slid it right off. <laughs> Peace, my dude's gonna get my old man sleep. All right, Ray, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate you stopping through. I have a question. I can't grow a good beard. It comes in patchy, and I can only do a mustache, a mustache. and a chin strap. Yeah. I remember uh, back in the day, I don't know if it was back in the day, but I used to have the chin strap. Like, that's how I shaved it. I shaved it where I just had the chin thing uh, yeah it's weird how like years later you look back at stuff you're and like, you're like Ugh. Ugh, i looked stupid look like but at the t but there's things that are styles so yeah. like it was the style i think every dude at that time had that everybody mm. uh i wasn't the only one i don't think it was everyone every everyone can i ask you uh, a fucking question just like mustaches at that time the worst thing you could have was just a mustache my dad's That's, day yeah and now mustaches are coming back first of all Holy but shit. my dad that was his style my dad wore the big handlebar mustache um can i can i ask you something what's a fu manchu oh yeah, um, yeah i could do it look like a biker question. like my dad what Sorry. Damn. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, uh, you did. No, I didn't. You meant to. I didn't mean to. You that. meant to. Um, if a criminal turns himself in, do you think he should be entitled to the reward money? If a criminal turns himself in? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Me too. I, I do. I honestly do. Because... You know how many people would just turn themselves in? Right, right. Especially if it was more than the bail? Yeah. I think they I, should. I took steroids when I was 18 to 21. I think it delayed my beer growth. I th Hopefully it didn't okay. delay your other growth. <clears throat> I, th I thought, let me, let me get this straight, because I thought steroids made you go bald on the head, but made you grow hair in other places, because high testosterone makes hair grow thicker. And uh, Let's donate so Jared will grow a Fu Manchu. <laughs> <laughs> I would grow a beard, I don't know about a Fu Manchu, but uh, let's, <laughs> that would... Uh, I don't think that think would actually work. I'd look like my dad. I think it would look very fucking creepy, please don't do that There's to my me. dad right there, if you guys can see that. That's my dad's... Uh, moustache. Moustache. He had a, a badass moustache. I'm in for five... <laughs> Depends uh, on what they did. Yeah, I mean, they're still going to get locked up, but they should get their reward money. It well, would've... they could use it on their bail. Yeah. <laughs> if they could get bail, because you have or to get bail Or they could give first. it to their families <clears throat> that they're leaving behind. I mean, I know it well, seems like an effed up concept, but... I, okay, so like... Bounty hunt yourself. There's a thing, like, uh, like, say even here, right? You know how they have that thing where if you tell them about like crime stoppers right crime oh. stoppers has it where you get a thousand dollars snitch creator yes yeah, snitchers <laughs> um you get a thousand dollars for snitching on somebody as long as they get busted in the court the problem with that though is it's, the it's not for <clears throat> a crime that's already happened you can bullshit and as long as you you, you may not even have seen the crime happen or anything, but no, if you call to... and you That's in your call leads to a felony arrest, right? You get a thousand dollars. It's not just arrest; they have to be they have to go through court and they have to be pled guilty. I understand, right. but the thing that people <clears throat> call crime <clears throat> stoppers, the thing they don't realize is that after a while, their name will be available in the discovery. It will. Well, they say in the thing. They say it won't. <clears throat> they say it won't. It will. They say it won't. But the thing is, though, is that you. Know. I don't know how that works. It I, I don't know, but I think that those type of people are the worst kind of people. Unless if it's like a child well, molester. There's like crackheads that do it too because they're trying to get dope yeah, money. Of course, that's the point. That's why it's fucked that's up. That's the point. The point is, is that you'll get people that are desperate to snitch on other desperate people. Right. But that's it's why like I, big dogs. to me, man, like growing up, my dad always taught me. Commissary, a Raymond. snitch is the worst kind of fucking person. You don't think you could and spend money behind bars? Unless if you, it's a, like a child abuser or a rapist or something yeah. like that. I, there ain't nobody I'd ever snitch on. I, I've taken so many things, even into jail, like with a chances to leave. Like, just to say something, and there ain't a chance in hell. I, that's the worst kind of person. And you don't want to go in there and people find out or even get the the hint. Like, if you go into jail, like, for whatever reason, even if it's a year later, and you have people in there telling other people that you're a snitch, even if it's not true, 
you're yeah. going to have a real bad time. Done. A real bad time. Um, right. You're going to have to go right into PC. I'm going to do one more question because we don't have that long left. Okay, yeah, damn. It's been a long time. All right, um, we're going to do one or two more questions. Wouldn't people commit crimes just so they could return <laughs> themselves in for the reward? I don't know if the, um, because that wouldn't, like, a lot of crimes, depending on what it is, in order, for, in order to be a felony, it has to be, well, at least here, it has to be, like, over $1,000. And then for it to be a certain kind of felony, like, because there's different levels, class one, class two, class three, there's different classes, so, like, possibly, but usually you're going to owe oh, way more than just a thousand dollars. So like say if it was a thousand dollars, you're gonna owe court fines, you're gonna have the bail money, you it's gonna be way more, way fucking more than whatever they're gonna give you. Um uh I had a question and now I forgot it. I thought you just read it. I did, but you started blabbing on Well that's what it. happens oh, yeah. during a How life. do you feel about sharing passwords with your partner? That's more know. a question for them than us. Yeah, do you guys... I don't personally care. Do you guys share your password? But we also don't... We also don't... Just because we know the passwords, we also don't just, like, take each other's phones and go through them. I don't know like if they enforce... I think they enforce jaywalking when they want to get you for some... Some like, other shit. Yeah. They don't enforce it if... For the, for that, they enforce it when they want to bully you, when they want to stop you, when they want to get your identification, when they want to talk to you, when they want to get you to snitch on somebody, when you're on probation and they know it, stupid shit like that. But they don't do it any other reason. Yeah. So they can. Sometimes in cities they will because it's actually dangerous. I've seen somebody get uh, in trouble for that when it wasn't even jaywalking and they proved it in court, it's because like if you're so far from the corner, you can actually cross. Like, there's a certain distance away. Like, if there's not an, um, a crosswalk within so many feet, you're, it's actually legal for you to cross. And they still arrested them, busted them, and one... Are you jaywalking knowledge right now? I'm just saying what I've seen. <laughs> and um, they got in trouble for it because it led to another crime that that's what the officer yeah. was really trying to get to. And wound up getting everything dropped because it was a wrongful uh, detention. Yeah. Did you see the Oregon decriminalized, decriminalized possession of all drugs for that personal use? That is amazing. Use? That is amazing. Do you know we wouldn't even have a drug war if drugs were just illegal? The war on drugs and I the don't The war on know. drugs is it's so, so much bu It's so dumb. fake. It's so much bullshit. It's... I hate to get into that damn conspiracy because yeah, you go for lie. years on that one. It's but not a conspiracy though. It's not a conspiracy because... If you uh, lawyer up, boys, yeah, always lawyer up. Don't ever talk to the fucking police. Ever. 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 Fucking, you guys don't even like to see me around cops. They do not like me. Oh, my God. I, Remember the one time we got in the car and they, we had just gotten food? Like, we weren't even doing anything wrong. We get in the car and there was that officer standing out in like the parking lot like by panda express and we got in the car and you so on purpose rolled down your window and you called him officer snitches or something you remember you're like no, no, no. oh yeah 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 that's what it was we no, got in the no. car with my mom my mom picked us up from a restaurant we get in the car and you intentionally cracked your window and go hey snitches do you remember that <laughs> i just learned it's a crime to serve what Margarines or butter substitutes at a restaurant in Wisconsin? Really? No. No. You're full of shit. Um, if you want to do whatever with OD, that's your Darwin R42 one. I feel like anybody should be able, not whatever they want as long as it doesn't hurt other people, right? Like, I don't give a don't fuck what anybody does. I think does. that it's about, it, if we're talking about personal use, we're not talking about the sale of drugs or anything right. like that. So if we're talking about personal use, no, I don't think anyone should be convicted as a criminal nope. for not having an addiction because the type of drugs that are felony convictions, no matter what the amount, is like heroin, crack, um, they need stuff help like that. not to go to jail. Yeah, if somebody's doing that stuff, they don't need to go to jail. I mean, jail might get them sober for, for a week. five days. Yeah, right. They're going to get out and, and go then, right back And to then it. they're going to get out, and you know what's going to happen? Die. They're going to die yeah, because yeah. their tolerance is going to hit the floor. I've seen it so many times. I've seen it so many times where people literally go to it's jail. It's dangerous. They get out, and then they do heroin, and they wind up fucking dying because yeah. their tolerance is down. But I feel like it doesn't – all it does is make a bad – Situation so, yeah, worse. it shouldn't be a criminal situation unless you're selling it. 
period. I think rehab, stuff like that is possible to help, but... It has to be at their own will. I mean, that's just the end of the day. I've saved a lot of people that have OD'd. I've done CPR on... I couldn't tell you how many people. I've done... I saved a dude's life to, in the middle of an intersection. I've, uh, I've even lost people. People have literally died in my arms. So I, I know all about that shit. And I, I don't think people should go to, like, for, like being a user or something like that because they're not they're not selling it they're trying to survive basically well, that's you, what the brain yeah. the brain has learned and it is like telling someone who's hungry not to eat right they eventually are going to have to eventually yeah. you feel like and to get out of that cycle is not just a why don't they just stop like right. it's not something like there it is uh, Damn, I'm back. sorry guys here we are Okay, well, the phone is about done. We're going to end it here yeah. in one minute. Um, but, did you have one more question you wanted to do? Before uh, well, we I just want to answer this. I don't know about Trump being a post-Narcan. I haven't heard that. Um, I'd like to look into that. That's interesting. But a what? Narcan. I don't know how someone could be opposed or against or for Narcan. That's kind of weird um, because Narcan is a good thing. It just... This is the problem with Narcan, though, the medical issue with it that people don't realize. When you use Narcan, it can bring someone back. Yeah. But Narcan, I've seen lots of people come back. Narcan now. is an opioid... Uh, now I'm going to say the Blocker. word. No, no, it is. If, no, it, it's that's not. That's what people say, though. It's not. It, it, basically, it knocks all the opioids off of the receptors in the brain. The problem yeah. is, is the half-life of Narcan is extremely, extremely short. So what happens is, you have your receptor, you got the dope on it, the Narcan comes, it knocks it all off, and then the Narcan falls off, and you know what happens? There's still a bunch of heroin in the bloodstream, and it can come back, and they can fall out again. So the thing is, is Narcan... Is can be a lifesaver. I've seen it, but save a not lot of if you lives. just yeah, not if you just do it and leave them alone though. Thanks. One bud. more bell. Thank you. Boom. Yes, always keep Narcan and med kits. I I've seen a lot of I've seen it save a lot of people's lives, and yeah. I think it's very very important. And I like around here they'll actually give it out. Like I know lots of people who walk who drive around yeah. with it because not necessarily that they do it. They even have it on planes. That they have it because of the area because it's a high you know area. Yeah, for I just I've it. never even heard a debate on yeah. Narcan. I've never heard anybody debate like we should get rid of it. Like, because... It is nothing but good, but you just have to. Well, Jeez, no, this right Narcan. here. Whoever said that you believe anything you hear. Yeah, no, I'm no, going to no, agree no, no, no. with uh, T. Guarino because literally yeah, they but... say Trump is against everything. And that sounds like somebody and I'm no offense. OK, no offense, because that just means you're you're under informed. But CNN, MSNBC says the most ridiculous things about Trump that anybody who watches Trump and watches the other side laughs at literally laughs hysterically oh. at. they will take a sentence so he says and turn it into another sentence even though you heard the sentence so you know exactly what he said so Let you me don't just, believe anything you hear from the news sorry the trump ahead. administration an, announced a 1.8 billion dollar funding to states con to continue combating the opiate crisis there you go Centers for, this is on a government, hhs.gov. To Today, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced more than $1.8 billion in funding to states to continue Trump administration's efforts to combat the opiate crisis by expanding access to treatment and supporting near real-time data on the drug overdose crisis. So, I mean, I don't know their particular views on what they're using to help. But I would imagine that would include Narcan. No, T, uh, T don't don't feel like that. Do you, I'm sure you've been here before. But oh we, yeah, we're not. We talk about war. everything and anything in this, and we like people talking about anything and everything because it gives us something to talk about for one, but also it helps people go and get informed because there's lots of things we're misinformed on, That's and why we I'm say stupidly, it up. and then people help us, and then we look it up. Like it's the best thing for all of us is to be informed. The best thing. So if you're underinformed, that's okay. Because then we have somebody in here that can help. Nobody ever take anything offensive. Or if you say something offensive, don't take it offensively. Because we say shit that's offensive all the time. To fuck wow. with people because we're just, we just have a sense of humor. Listen don't to ever this think really that quick. we take anything like that. Really quick, listen to this. Listen. Yes. 
Damn it. Efforts to expand treatment are succeeding. Data suggests approximately 1.27 million Americans are now receiving medication-assisted treatment, which is like methadone and Suboxone, out of approximately 2 million Americans with opioid use disorder. Since President Trump took office, the number of patients receiving buprenorphine, which is like Suboxone, it's an MAT, yeah. has increased 28%. That's a massive amount. And the number of naltrexone prescriptions per month has increased 55%. So for those That's of you that amazing. don't know, naltrexone is Narcan. That's They've amazing. increased 55% for prescriptions, which means they're giving out at-home Narcan. So I can't find anything in particular about him being for or against it, but I would imagine no, he's, he's for it. He's for it if he's if, not. Um, if they're, if, because before in past administrations, they were not fully allowing at-home Narcan prescriptions, which was bizarre. Yes. Uh, Q1 Fiend was right. You're going to need Narcan before a uh, tourniquet. 100%. Hell yeah. Like, I, I've ran in the times where I've needed a tourniquet, but I've definitely seen people get saved from Narcan way more than I've ever used a tourniquet on somebody. And I've also done CPR on people that have overdosed way more than I've used a tourniquet on people. But I have used a tourniquet on somebody a few times. Um, I take two Norco a day, so the VA sent me doses of Narcan to keep on hand. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's Congratulations. That's, that's I think that's fantastic. What knife is that blue when you're flipping? This is the oh, CBD you're on Praxis. It right now. Buprenorphine. Yeah. Buprenorphine. Or Subsolve. Um, but uh, but yeah, this knife's amazing. I know why everybody likes this knife. It is absolutely amazing. I uh can't wait for the review on this thing. It is a damn good Civivi. Um, they do a lot of fantastic hollow grinds. This is a fantastic. Flat grind. It's a lot yeah, like. Oh, it's, it's a lot like. You sounded like Sarah Palin when you said that. Fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a lot like um Tucson's flat grinds. That's what I like about it. I'm yeah, itchy. Damn good. The I don't best. Know why. The best. What? Okay. Um. But uh, before I was flipping the Shuro F3R, which is also an amazing damn knife. This knife is. Whew, I take, it's like that. Every time I keep reading this comment, I keep reading it is I take two Norco a day so the VA to keep the VA away. Like I don't know why I keep reading it like that. You know how they say like eat an apple a day to keep your dog. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Just leave me alone. So, I just keep um, reading it wrong. The kite fin is different. So this is Civivi. The kite fin is we, which is the same company. Oh yeah. He but did the big difference is the um he this is gonna have way better ergos than the kite fin. So you're gonna have way better leverage from this. It's two different knives. The kite fin is way thinner, a way better slicer, but you'll probably feel like this is a better slicer because of the leverage and ergos. The kite fin is very thin in the hand and small, so it's more of a small EDC. This is more of a full-size knife. So okay. two different worlds. Yeah, because seems logical derailed me. So I'm going to ask this question okay. before go ahead, we go. Go ahead, go ahead. It's a quick one, guys. Quick one. What is the what is one food, so not like something random, something that's actually a food, what is one food that you could never bring yourself to eat, ever? Uh, canned green beans. Have you tried them before? Yeah, that's I'm thinking, why I I'm, fucking I'm, hate I meant them. something more that you haven't tried before, that oh. you could never bring yourself okay, to eat. Okay, I got one, I got one. What? Um, the In <laughs> other countries, it's a delicacy to eat um, basically hard-boiled uh, eggs that have the birdie in it. So when you eat it, like, I've heard somebody eat it, and they said that it tastes a lot. You know what they say it tastes a lot like? Um, uh, what's that thing where you cut the egg in half, and you have the mayonnaise and the whatchamacallit? It's called eggs. doubled egg. They say it tastes a lot like doubled eggs. But I can't imagine eating a baby birdie out of an egg that's still there, bones and all. Fuck that. I don't know if they eat the bones. I'm pretty sure they do. I don't think I could do oysters either, master class. I, I, oysters, something about it. Blech. Or anything like a lot Balut of egg related eggs. things. <laughs> yeah. Balut eggs? Is that uh, like pickled eggs? Is that what that is? Ho. Yeah, Why are you awesome. calling us hoes? Thanks, Renee. Call is it Renee hoes. or Renee? Because I haven't. I always I have a family member that's, that's uh, spelled the same way and it's Renee, but it's probably Hi, Renee. You <laughs> What's up? Um, Look up Rocky Mountain Oysters. I know. I've had oysters, I've had clams and stuff like that. I can never I'm not, eat an ice. Cow's ice. tongue's fucking delicious. So, I don't know what you're talking about. If you've never had cow's tongue, it is the most tenderest meat you'll ever have. If it's cooked right. 
Um, what's the egg with the bird? I had it called? with breeze, actually. Um, I think. Oh, that's what the yeah, egg with the bird is called. Them. Balut eggs. That's what it's oh, called. Oh, that's what it's called. My okay. thing is the pow thing, is delicious. The See? thing that Lindy I couldn't Lino's. do though is definitely um like you know like when people eat fish where like the stuff is still in it like the eyeball is still in it and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I don't like fish that, in the first place. We did that at breezes. They they cooked a, a pig. They had brain. They had the eyeballs. They had fucking everything there. Oh, Rocky Mountain um, oysters are cow testicles. I didn't. I know oh, I, I've ha! heard I've heard the term um before. But yeah, cow tongue, fantastic. The meat is so so Fried tender. Fried gizzards. So good. Gizzards. Snails. I could probably eat a snail to be honest. Um, I could eat just about anything. Um, or at least try it once. What about dead ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, Too I'm gonna just like that ass. Okay. Uh, they uh, ate rock yeah, rock. I remember Fear Factor. I used to watch that all the time. All right, we are leaving. Frog legs are pretty good. They're a little or not fatty to me. We'll be done just a minute. Um, but <laughs> frog legs are good if they're breaded. But they are like I've had them both ways, and they're um, it's kind of like greasy good. chicken. Greasy like chicken that. is a good I like way alligator. Thing. Alligator's really good. It's kind of the I same way. I love gizzards. But, um, yeah. I, I just like saying things. gizzards. You should definitely try cow tongue someday. You will definitely enjoy Subbing. it. It's some some Don't of the best meat you go. can have. We have to go. Don't go. Um, it'll end up uh, just remember the one time man the thing just died on us. That's what'll end up happening. We'll yeah, get it, up. it literally will die in a after minutes. so long. What, well, one, the phone ends up dying, but two, what winds up happening is is YouTube doesn't, like, even uh, Metal Complex before, when he used to go over an hour, it would just kick, kick him out. Like, that's what eventually they'll start doing. It's just going to start kicking us out every two minutes. So, we've been already going for two hours. But Butt cheek pie. pie. That sounds fucking delicious. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I want to play our game. All right, we're going to go play our game, guys. I love you guys. Can I send yes! you guys some of my handmade Absolutely. leather belts? Absolutely. Fuck yeah, you can. Hell you yeah. can message us on Instagram or on our email, which you can find in the description of most of our videos. And what is a lego? Link up. What is that? What is lego? I don't know. I've just been ignoring it. Everyone's Russ, saying it. Russ, what's <laughs> lengua? What is that? Lengua. Menudo right, is fire, but has Menudo. to be clean. That's a, with a lot of things. I tried some things that... I thought were nasty at first, but then I had them right, like somebody that knew how to cook them, and they were it was Lengua. amazing. Lengua. It does come down Lengua to the person who makes it. Spanish. Oh, okay. Well, then that is delicious. Good night. All right, guys. Buenos love you guys. Noches. Peace. La 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 la